Sisters. Welcome back. Hello, welcome back. Um, so de- today is a really fun episode. I think it's really cool. Um, it's really interesting when I got into it. It's like, wow, they do all that? Um, so it's about the foods that you see on ads, like on billboards or on commercials on TV, and you're like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. I need Mouth to get that right now. Yes. I'm going to go to the drive-thru, even though it's 3 a.m. in the morning, and you get there and it's like... That's not what I saw on the TV. It's shrunken. Right. It's weird. What the happened? The one that always gets me is milk. Every time you see them pour milk <laughs> into cereal, I'm like, that looks so good. Right. And then you do it and you're like, mm. And it's all soggy. So today we're going to share with you how advertisers make foods look really good and their tricks that it doesn't look like it in reality. It might taste good, but it looks more perfect in ads and commercials because they have these certain tricks. So we're going to show you what they actually do, and some of it isn't actually even food, right. what they use. Um, so, the first one is fruit. Now, you may see on commercials fruit, they're just so shiny. Like, oh, Whoa, it's just it's glowing. amazing. Now, fruit like apples and stuff, that can still be shiny, but they make it extra, extra shiny, so you just see it and it's like, wow. Um, so, that's not actually like the natural look to it. The natural look is less shiny but what they do is they put on um spray deodorant on them so or or sometimes they'll put like hairspray on it they'll spray that on so not really edible once you get it that shiny (laughs) you don't want to eat the commercial ones right exactly so that's what they use just some spray deodorant or um or hairspray crazy yeah (laughs) um the next one is what they do to get the maple syrup on pancakes i thought this was really cool because you know like it looks so delicious when they pour it on yeah (laughs) well guess what it's not really maple syrup no it's really not because the pancakes will like they'll absorb it too fast right um when they're trying to like photograph and film it so photographers and set designers for the commercials will replace it with Engine oil. Engine oil. Or yep. motor oil, whatever you say. Yum. Wow. <laughs> yep. So, um, they use engine oil. Another trick, they will also, like, cover it with a water repellent spray yeah. on the pancake, and that way nothing will seep into it while exactly. they're trying to get their perfect shot. Yeah, so a lot of these, what you'll see is they're using things that can just last for a very long time, because, you know, doing commercials and pictures, it just takes forever sometimes. It so does. they need it to stay perfect yes. throughout it. All right, so the next one is grilled patties, whether it's, like, burger or chicken or fish. Well, mostly just chicken and burgers. <laughs> yeah, not really fish. Yeah, I know. So, um, actually, in commercials and ads, uh, photo ads, patties are almost rare in the photos um, and commercials because they cook them, uh, if you cook them too long, they'll shrink and they'll dry out and it just won't look as good on the ads so what they do is they cook them for a few seconds just to get them um some browning uh, going on on the outside and then what they do is they take um hot skewers and they put it on the raw patties to give those lines that the grill line marks and then what they do after that is they paint into the lines with they take shoe polish and they put that on like if they're painting it. And then they'll do more to the burger. Maybe they'll put like some other paints on it to make it browner. So it's just... They're a, tricksters. Yeah, they so really, are. really they're they're very, uh, very raw in the commercials. But yeah. want to give them that nice big look. All right. So the next one is they use cardboard and toothpicks inside of food a lot when they're yeah, in commercials. They do. Um, so to keep cakes and burgers and sandwiches... Looking that tall and fluffy, beautiful, you know, thing when you see them in commercials. Um, They will, like, interlay them with cardboard. And then they fasten them with toothpicks. um, And they can do this with lots of types of food that have to be, like, layered. Right. So, you know, when you have that beautiful bun or that (laughs) gorgeous cake, it's probably cardboard and toothpicks. Yeah. I think that's one of the most well-known things is that you look at a burger and it's very shrunken. And like this one, it's, it's like flat. That in the commercials, <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's what they do, and of course they have to put the toothpicks, like cut them, so you don't actually see them. Um, right, that kind of take away from the commercial. <laughs> um, okay, so the next one is mashed potatoes um, are used for ice cream commercials. Yeah, this I did not know. Yeah, so this, um, of course, ice cream melts really fast, and it's gonna melt even faster under like hot studio lights and in a nice 
warm studio so that's why they use mashed, mashed potatoes and they color them and they give it a nicer look because if you see like commercials with like box like especially the boxed ice cream cones and you'll see like that nice fluff around the edges that's very hard to get with ice cream a lot of times yeah that doesn't happen <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that's why they use mashed potatoes um sometimes they don't use mashed potatoes and they make a paste of starch um ice, icing sugar corn syrup fat and other components so it's not always mashed potatoes, but that can be one of the things they use. So Right. So it's not really ice cream that you're seeing on the screen. <laughs> no. Um, another thing is instead of whipped cream, they will use shaving cream. They will. And that is, again, because shaving cream does not melt like whipped cream will. Yeah. Um, and so they can, you know, put it on there and then, you know, minutes later, hours later, days later, weeks later, years later, I wouldn't say it's still fine. Quite that long. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What would happen with shaving hey, cream? Hey, you know what? The showbiz is hard. I don't know with commercials. It could take three years to get a Who Denny's knows? commercial made. I don't know. By that point, though, I wonder with shaving cream, it must turn into like a hard rock and get yellowy and crusty. That's my thought. I mean, I don't know what happens. I'm sure somebody on YouTube has set you know shaving cream in a jar for seven years and see I'm sure what they happens. have <laughs> i'm they, sure somebody they do knows something like that happens. all the time yeah. <sighs> but yeah so that's what they do for like milkshakes and ice cream and uh, commercials like that um so the next one i thought was really cool is for drink commercials where they put the nice ice cubes in now yeah they just go in and they can film it and they stay the nice perfectly square cubes um that is actually not real um, cubes. That is plastic cubes. They use plastic cubes and they put them in because of course those aren't going to, um, those aren't going to melt. Like, right. and they can get the perfect shape. Like a lot, a lot of, um, of cubes that you get aren't perfectly shapen. You know, they're kind of no. lopsided. Um, so yeah. that's what they do. They get the plastic ones. And fun fact, um, you can actually use, um, plastic ice cubes in your drinks. Just don't drink them. Like you can get them cold and then you can put them in your drink and then wash them and reuse them. So that actually, you can use them in real life. Look at that. Yeah. Who knew? All right, so the next one is one of my favorites. When you see a cereal commercial <laughs> and they pour in that glorious milk and you see the spoon <sighs> scoop right in. You just yeah. want to take a big mouthful. <gasps> Don't. Yeah. Because Don't. if they use real milk, what happens? It sinks to the bottom. And it so gets all soggy. So you wouldn't see it in the commercial. Right. So to fix that, they replace it with glue. Glue. <laughs> White glue instead of milk. <laughs> Um, they do. And that way the cereal stays on the surface and keep its original form without getting soggy while they make their commercial. Yeah. Um, that one, that one's pretty cool. Now, I think with a lot of liquids such as milk or we'll get to like sauces and stuff, they often use thicker things than the actual food because when they pour them for a picture and add, it has to be very slow and you so they see can get it. the picture. Yeah. yeah. So... That's part of the reason that they use um, thicker stuff. Right. Um, so the next one is sparkling drinks. And you might see a commercial and it sparkles and which just all comes to the top. Um, now that does happen with pop a lot. I mean, it does, you know, it does get yeah, the that poppy stuff. Yeah, real life. It does. But it doesn't stay for very long no. and it just goes down and they need it for a while, as we've said. So what they use is heartburn antacids to put them in. Um, because that inside the pop will make it fizz and go on for quite a while and get the nice, huge fizziness that you get in your uh, pop or soda there um, you go. commercials. Uh, next one is chicken. When you see chicken in commercials, it is, again, like we talked about, it's never fully cooked because everything shrinks yeah. and it doesn't look great. We'll roast a chicken specifically in this one. Yes. Yeah. So um, they actually will... They will heat it with, like, a little bit of heat, and then they'll paint it again. Yeah. And oh, then the to give it volume, they'll stuff it with paper towels and sew it back up. They will, to get that perfect shape so yeah. it doesn't shrink. So. Um, so that's another thing I've learned, is that they don't cook stuff because they often shrink from all the juices coming out and stuff Well, if you like think that. about putting something on a grill, it does shrink. It does. It gets smaller, yeah. and then, you know, there's always going to be a little burnt part or something. Right, right? exactly. So. Um, so this is another thing with, like, liquid and sauce. A lot of sauces, like, you know, the packets that you get in fast food and such, they will mix for commercials with wax to get the perfect color in two sauces to make them brighter. And again, I also think they probably do it to make it a little bit thicker yeah, for the so commercial. You can see it. Yeah. yeah. So that one's that was cool. 
Um, and steam is used a lot in food advertising, as we know, because it looks so appetizing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but in truth, food is not hot when they're actually, you know, filming it. Yeah, as you've learned, a lot of it's raw. <laughs> so, um, so besides using, obviously, Photoshop, um, the advertisers have other ways to create steam. They can use a steamer. Um, they pass it over the food a few times to make it smoke. Mm-hmm. Um, they can use cotton balls, so the photographers will moisten them, and they put them in a microwave, and they place them in a dish, and then that creates a little bit of steam if they need it, yeah. you know, for the picture. Um, and then there's also some sort of special steam device that can simulate steam. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Um, but also, with all of these, you might think, mm, mashed potatoes, they don't really look like ice cream. Well, a lot of this stuff, they'll use it just for the sake of time when they're filming and taking pictures, but after that they'll go to Photoshop and edit it yeah. to make it look more real. I'm sure a good deal of stuff is done on Photoshop. It's oh, just for to sure. yeah. start with a basic, yeah. Yeah, exactly. As you all know, I mean, when you see commercials and photos with food, it just looks so perfect it and does. in place. Just immaculate. Just immaculate. So um, that's because they take a lot of time to put the food in the right place. Um, so what they'll do is they take tweezers and they'll take, like, you know how you see the sesame seeds or whatever they're called, the little seeds on top of buns? Even with that, they will take tweezers and glue them on in certain places to make it the perfect amount onto the bun. And then they'll take the tweezers and they'll put the lettuce in a place here and the certain fry this way. So all of it is done. It takes forever to get it. They'll just take forever to make it perfect. I'm sure they're all perfectionists. Oh, Every single sure. one. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they are. Yeah, but that, I mean, as you see, they're just, everything's so perfect because they take a very long time to get it perfect. Yeah. Um, another thing with, um, like, you know, dealing with food and everything is they want to keep it in the same place without falling, obviously, so the advertisers will, they can't talk, the advertisers (laughs) will end up using clay to keep things in place. They will. So that nothing falls over. Because sometimes they have to film it on a slant and stuff. Right. So they'll put, like, uh, clay under it. Yeah. So, the next one is lipstick. Now, what would the lipstick be for? Hmm. Now, this is red lipstick. In... So, what would you put red lipstick on? Let's, well, qui- well, let's, let's quiz them here. Okay. okay. So, what? Okay. Red. Yep. yep. Red food. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. A fruit. Very good. Yeah. What's a red fruit? Uh, mm, strawberries. Very exactly. Good. Yes. You, good job. You, you did got it. it. You did it. <laughs> uh, so, yes, it's strawberries. So, as you know, a lot of times you get strawberries... Pretty much all the time there's white spots on it because not all of it is fully ripe. Mm-hmm. Um, ripe, but what they'll do is they'll take lipstick and they will put it onto um, the strawberry. Um, I'm sure they don't use a lot because then it would look kind of chalky and weird. But in little places here and they'll, they're, uh, they'll touch use up, it. Touch up. Yeah. Uh, and our last one is, again, we go back to the milk. Mm-hmm. Um, so we talked about, you know, when the milk is in the bowl, but when they're pouring the milk... They like it to look bubbly and beautiful and neat. So they will often put soap water and they will mix that together and then they'll put it on the milk to make it look like it's freshly poured. Exactly. So in that case, they do use real milk, I guess, for that, that pouring purpose. Cause yeah, glue, but they I, put I guess some I'm, water now I'm in thinking there, about so. it. Glue's too thick to really pour unless it's like in a picture. So for the filming, they'll use the, the, uh, the soap right. and the bubbles. Yeah. Um, but that's, I'm sure there's many other tricks that they do that I just tricks couldn't Tricks of the find. trade. Um, but that was just a few that I thought were really cool and interesting, um, to just learn how they make food look so perfect in commercials and ads. Um, so. And now you know it's not real. Yeah. None of it's real. <laughs> a lot of it's, a lot of it's You really fake. don't want to eat any of it. Yeah, really. That, you should, food should not look that perfect, to be honest. No. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode, learned some new tricks about how advertisers make their food look perfect. And now it is time for the news. Hello. Amazon has issued a warning to all bird owners who own an Amazon Alexa. 
Apparently, these birds have been listening to their owners order things through Alexa and repeating it when the owners are not at home. One angry customer claimed that she came home and found 126 rolls of toilet paper outside her front door she claims she never ordered. A warning has been issued to all fast food lovers. Please, please do not film your fast food. If you do, you will hear in the background your cheeseburger keep saying, cheese, cheese, cheese. It believes that you are actually taking a picture and is trying to cheese for the picture. It is time for the Taylor Treasure Box. And what is this thing up here? I don't know. What's what is it? Doing there? I don't know. It was just sitting there. Why don't we open it? Okay. Why don't we? Okay. So uh, today we have a very special Taylor Treasure Box that we wanted to do just because we thought it would be really fun. Um, so usually we pick our own from the boxes, but this was a suggestion. Well, not really a suggestion for the box, but it was a cool thing that we wanted to use for the box. Um, somebody commented on another video about our dog, and this person loves to make, um, little tongue twisters and rhymes, and we thought it was really cool, so we wanted to try to do it in this episode, because they oh made boy. this little, little tongue twister, and <laughs> we wanted to try it ourselves. Oh boy, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> so, the tongue twister is, they, uh, made this one up, I thought it was really cool. Silly Sully swallowed a substantially sized squeaker. <laughs> <laughs> that is Wait, silly wow. silly swallowed a substantially sized squeaker. Yeah, so we I'm gonna say we have to say it three times each and then we'll we'll do it. But we thought this was really cool that uh that they came up with this, so we wanted to try it ourselves. Alright, All right, you go first. Alright, I'll go first. Okay. <clears throat> no, you can't read it. Really? That's cheating. Oh no You can't read it. <laughs> okay. Read it once, uh, get it okay. in your head. Okay. And you have to say it. I'm not going to get it if I can't read it. <laughs> that wasn't part of it. <laughs> but then your brain is going to connect more if you read it. You're just supposed to say it. Okay. Silly Sully swallowed a substantially sized squeaker. One. Silly Sully swallowed a substantially sized squeaker. Two. Silly Sully swallowed a substantially sized squeaker. Yay, I did it! I would say it's a little slow, but I'll give it to you. Hey, <laughs> it's know. hard. Yeah, but that was fun. Okay. <clears throat> now you. Silly Sully swallowed a substantially sized squeaker. Silly Sully swallowed a substantially sized squeaker. Silly Sully swallowed a substantially sized squeaker. I'd say the last one was a little off, but I'll give it to you. Well, mine was faster. <laughs> yes, it was. I did it the normal way. You were like a zombie saying. <laughs> I couldn't help it. <sighs> okay. Um, but yeah, so that was the tongue twister thought that was really fun to do i actually liked saying that like that's honestly that's my favorite tongue twister i've heard so far yeah that was and, fun to say yeah it was fun to say so thank you for um that really cool tongue twister so we could do it for the box um and ho again hope you enjoyed this episode make sure to give this video a like and a comment and, and make sure to subscribe and after you subscribe make sure to press the bell next to the subscribe button so you get all of our videos in your notifications box and we'll see you next time. Bye! Hey guys, thanks for watching that episode. Thank you. If you'd like to subscribe down Please here, subscribe. subscribe. And if you'd like to watch a previous episode, you can click up here. And if you want to watch a random episode,